Oh, there is a body there, I want to say. Oh, that looks like a body. Can I check any pictures out? Oh, look, they're setting up the scarecrow. Oh, boy. No, no, there was... There's a dude there. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Midnight Scenes. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. This right here is a short game by Octavi Navarro, as it tells you in the screen right here. But it's also a very much heavily inspired Twilight Zone game. It's a free game for download. I'll have all the information down below. Um, I think the developer mentioned in his um, webpage that if this does well, he might look into actually making more of these short stories. So these are games that are basically, essentially treat them as episodes of the Twilight Zone. So if you like the Twilight Zone, whether the original or the remakes or whatever, I think you'll really enjoy this one here. Claire Barnes, age 29, she's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tire delayed Claire's trip. Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever as well as her perception of reality. It's got an amazing, like, soundtrack and atmosphere to it. Black and white, it's so good. Okay, so I haven't played this beforehand, so I'm coming in here blind, but I've seen a couple of um, gameplay videos of it. Um, let's see. So... Just turn it off. It's not working. Turn it off, I guess. Good. You hear the soundtrack? So good. Tonight's episode, The Highway. This is beautifully done, by the way. It's pixel art, but going by the atmosphere, the black and white coloring, and just kind of like the detail to the... I guess the world behind the background and the foreground and everything looks really, really good. An unexpected obstacle. A new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near-emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Alright, so, that is the emergency sign up to that way, but unfortunately it doesn't seem we could get through there. Is that a node? That it is. Looks like a missing boy that... I think his eyes and mouth have been drawn over. Which is kind of freaky. That's that, yeah. Obviously, touching that's not going to be a good idea because it'll shock you. Which is no good. So, we do have an opening. Okay. Pop this open now. Oh, I wasn't trying to get into the door just yet. I wanted to see what that over here is. Oh, okay. So that's the missing boy without the weird drawing over it. And what about this one? That one's been ripped off. I don't know what it is about this missing boy, but apparently somebody doesn't want him found. So let's unlock that, open it up, and go through. Ah. And that's the source of our obstacle here. I'm gonna try to keep talking to a minimum because the, uh, the soundtrack is so good and I feel like, you know, talking too much will ruin the atmosphere of this, but, you know. Uh-huh. And there's the missing boy. So what we thought was like initially a drawing over the eyes and mouth could just be blood? Maybe? Alright. So we got that. It's definitely blood. So we can't move this vehicle back. Not that we really need to, I would imagine. So let's go back here. And what do we got on this side? Are you like a scarecrow? Oh, please don't be a scarecrow. This reminds me of, like, Jeepers Creepers now, which, by the way, a really underrated horror movie, Jeepers Creepers, is so good. It's so good, like, in a really weird, cheesy, campy way, but it's, like, one of, like, the better cheesy, campy movies out there. I don't think I've ever seen the sequel, but Jeepers Creepers 1, so good. Oh, freaking scarecrows at nighttime with blood on them. Got a broken broom. Oh, so are we trying to fix the scarecrow or what? Well, I got a broken piece of the broom. Is it just me or is that moving back here? This fence? No? Maybe I was just moving? Alright. Well, here you go, buddy. Here's your arm, I think. Yeah. Are you happy now? Huh? Oh! 
Um, <laughs> but to tape you or something or what? No, you're fine. Okay. So can I open the door now? No. Oh, so your arm positioning maybe? I see. So we have like up, middle, down. Okay. So we might have to like move your arm in a particular... Okay, here we go. No. Unless we're supposed to use the arm on the other one, maybe? Which is kind of weird because it does already move on its own. Oh, here we go. So maybe I'm missing something else. So we have a... Oh, string! Okay, we have... Ah, hammer. Okay. So we won't be able to get that without a key of some kind. We have bolt cutters, though. Alright, so maybe now we should be able to... Maybe it's the fact that it falls so easily, right? So we'll pick this up now, and can we combine... That with that, maybe? No? Oh, let's see. Move you here. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't think we need the hammer just yet. Oh! Okay, there we go. So, it... It's confusing because it's the arm, the one with the broom that you're supposed to move up to open, as we saw with the picture here, but... Based on the... How the... The scarecrow's facing us in the picture, it makes it seem like it's the other arm. Not the one that had the broom handle. But either way, we got it done, which is the important part. Let's continue. We also have a hammer. Spooky lighting back there, too. Anybody home? Oh, man. The setting is so good, man. This is awesome. All right. Oh. <laughs> There's Papa. Papa and his truck. Oh, there is a body there, I want to say. Oh, that looks like a body. Can I check any pictures out? Oh, look, they're setting up the scarecrow. Oh, boy. No, no, there was... There's a dude there. I'm not sure if he's alive or dead, but there's a dude there. So we needed a flashlight now or something, or what? I still see the foot, barely. All right. This might be the boy's treehouse. Oh, that, that might be a light. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll reach you that way. Magnet. Cool. Got a nail. Don't need... Oh, you're not a magnet. You're a horseshoe. <laughs> a magnet. How do they work? So... Oh, I see. So we climb the treehouse and get that light. Um, so that's missing through here. So maybe... So we combine it. Okay. Now move momentarily and let's place this right there. And that's what's up. And we go up. Cool. What is that? Nothing. What happened to this treehouse, by the way? It's completely wrecked. I want that, though. Alright. So we do have a light now. Which could be pretty bad when you think about it. Don't think we that horseshoe, do we? No. Alright, so we're about to get to the bottom of this body here. Uh. Okay. I'm not sure if he's dead or alive. There's a lot of blood, though. Like, whatever happened to him, it looks like he kind of patched himself up. But that blood right there seems to be, like, a lot for just an arm wound. There's a head injury, too, perhaps. There's the key, though, which is what we need for the bolt cutters, perhaps. Yeah, this guy died, so this guy did not make it at all. At least I think he's dead. Let's leave. Let's leave as soon as possible. Let me check these other pictures, too. Alright, so that's when the baby was born, or the kid was born. Mama and Papa, or maybe the grandparents. No more pictures, no? Alright, let's 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 go. Oh, Scarecrow, please don't do anything crazy, right? 
Okay, so here we go. Let's use this key. Pop this open. All right, we got some bolt cutters. Don't need any of that over here. So what do we need the bolt cutters for, though? That part, I'm, I'm slightly confused. Was there anything over here with bolt cutters related? No, right? So probably back in the vehicle. Because we did... We did inspect everything else over there, right? Oh, maybe to cut... Cut the power? So you could just move that? Alright. No? Yeah! Oh, excellent. Alright, so the power's gone now. Wouldn't she still be shocked if she cuts the wire while it's connected? I mean, the electricity, you know, moves through items, correct? Ah, what do I know? Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. So... Oh, okay, we're not done yet. <laughs> Either way, we still can't move that vehicle through there, because she can't push that out of the way. So telephone it is. Good God almighty, what happened here? There's like a million cars that crashed over here, why? Oh God. All right, you were holding a map? Mountains, maybe? A cave? Exit through there? All right, what about you? I have no idea what that is. I do see like two bodies here and like... blood being smeared on the walls? Not sure. Oh, the kid! So the kid's having some experiments run on him, too. Oh, wow. Okay, so the kid's probably evil. He's Damien. All right, here's the phone. Let's just call for help. How about that? Gee, big surprise. No. Okay. Ah! No, I don't want to check the kid out. Can, can we just go through there? G go run. Run. Oh no, don't make me check this kid out. Don't do it. Oh. That kid is like... Electric Man. And he dropped something for me too. Okay, that's you and your horse, which you apparently miss dearly. Claire Barnes, age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped in the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing event she had just witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk, but in good condition. Not a single word was written in the newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Midnight Scenes, The Highway. That is, this is really, really good. Like, amazing soundtrack. Amazing atmosphere. It doesn't rely like on, oh, I'm gonna jump scare you. This is really, really good. I hope um this picks up some steam and this Octavi Navarro character could, you know, make a couple more of these. That'd be great. Um, I'll have, I'll have all the information for the game down below in the description. It is um a free download on itch.io and maybe some other places too, but I will have the information down below. On the screen, you can see the Car um, Octavi Navarro's Patreon as well. So I guess, let's see, if you enjoyed the short game, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Cool. So, you know, if you guys want to see more of that, you could probably look into that yourselves. I'm not advocating or anything like that. I'm just throwing it out there. I might look into it myself, too, because this is actually really cool. I'm a big fan of the Twilight Zone, and this is, like, really amazing atmospheric game. Really cool. So, I have the information in case you want to download it. Of course, you've seen what I've done, so you probably wouldn't have to play it again. But if you still want to take it out for a spin yourself and check out some other things that maybe I missed, uh, the, download will be download the download shall be in the description, I should say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tonight's episode 
of the highway.